you cannot change the quality of your relationship with a person without you changing the beliefs you hold about the person let us say you continue to be one of those men who still have doubts about your wife now first of all it can't be called a doubt because if you believe in it it's not called doubt doubt means you still don't believe but if you believe in it it cannot be called a doubt but let us say you are one of those people who have this belief that my wife or my husband is not absolutely loyal to me now it doesn't matter how your husband is or how much he changes or how much he corrects himself doesn't matter how loyal she is it really doesn't make a difference you will continue to experience only disturbance in that relationship and you will not be peaceful in that relationship because it does not depend on the individual it depends on the beliefs through which you look at that relationship the scratch is not in the object but the scratch is in the spectacles with which you look at the object and no matter how much the object changes the object will continue to look scratch because the scratch is not in the object it's in the spectacles the belief with which i look at the relationship i don't think my mother in law wants me to be happy in life you believe into it even if she does something legitimate for your happiness your belief system will say edukko pandra you will not be able to believe that she wants you to be happy because your beliefs is somehow trying to sense there must be some ulterior motive in what she is doing and that is our belief my mother would always say even if rajan comes and tells me he has committed a mistake i won't believe him no he cannot do something that is wrong this is my mother's belief in me so even if you go and tell my mother rajan did something wrong aranjalo aranjiruvalle thavare but she will not because this is her belief now we hold such beliefs towards a few people we have a very strong belief no he is an amazing person look at how your beliefs work on you because you believe he is a very amazing person even when you come to know from somebody in the world he has committed a mistake your beliefs somehow make you look at the relation like this is amazing person occasional mistake everybody does your belief is he is a scoundrel and because your belief is a scoundrel even when you come to know from the world that he has done something legitimately good see the faith duryodhana had on his wife and on his friend is something outstanding but because we look through the beliefs that duryodhana is bad even a good act of his somehow goes into the background absolutely goes into the background because of the belief that we hold towards lord rama as god as an incarnation and with all the devotion because the beliefs with which we look at rama so even when rama tells sita so you jump into the fire and clarify that you are pure not that i have any suspicion on you but i am the emperor of this kingdom and as the emperor of the kingdom i am answerable to my subjects tomorrow nobody should question me and for the sake of me being an emperor who should not be answerable to my subjects you jump into the fire and clarify suppose sita had told rama you are also alone i am also queen i am also answerable to my subjects so hold my hand honey let's jump together suppose valmiki has written it like that even a wrong appears okay or subdued diluted right because of the beliefs we hold towards a person even a right looks some motive is there ah it's an accident koi karta hai the way we look at it is because of the beliefs we hold if the quality of your relationship towards your children if the quality of your relationship in your marriage if the quality of your relationship with your god if the quality of your relationship with your future the quality of your relationship with your partner if anything has to improve then the quality of your beliefs in that relationship has to change